Hi, welcome to Cupboard Crafts and Experiments brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District. Today we're going to make a sculpture. Our sculpture today will be made out of recycled materials and it will not only be a kinetic art piece, which means it can move, but it'll also be something you can test balance and the center of gravity on. So let's get started. What do we need? We will need a paper towel tube and a stapler. We'll need scissors. Stickers will be optional. Cardboard. Glue. We'll need an assortment of recycled materials, or as you can see, I have some art supplies. And bamboo skewers. I'm showing you the package so you can see what they look like. These are kind of tricky because there is a sharp point at one end, but you'll see how that comes in handy later. All right, well, let's get started. You're gonna start preparing your cardboard tube. And what you're gonna do is you're going to press down one end with that tube, and you're going to staple one end. And then you're going to cut a notch. Of course, call your parent if you need help with this or any of these things. All right, okay, and there's our notch. Now you can paint this, paint is optional. I have some paint here. I have found in my experimenting that black and red go on best, uh, if it's tempera paint, goes on best uh, to cardboard. Uh, if you're painting, you'll probably need a newspaper and a glass of water to wash off your brush. And uh, these are some of the pieces that I have cut and painted uh, out of my cardboard. These are going to help me with my sculpture. Now, if you don't have any paint at home, no worries. You can decorate your sculpture by just putting some stickers on or drawing designs. Anything you want. All right, well, I have a piece of cardboard I cut and I'm gonna glue this onto my cardboard right around the base. Let me get one that I've done already. All right, this one's been drying. It needs some time to dry. I would say even a couple hours to dry at the base here. All right, now, after you decorate this base, you're going to take a skewer and you've cut out various shapes of cardboard. Now this, this is where the skewer comes in handy. This is corrugated cardboard. As you can see, there's waves. Not sure why that is, makes it stronger maybe. But this sharp end is going to be threaded through the inside of that cardboard. All right, that's one. And now the other side is tricky because I don't have a sharp point on the other side, but I'm gonna make it go through a shape anyway. All right, this is my basic shape. And as you can see, oops, I'm gonna find the center of gravity that helps this balance. not easy and you may need someone's help. All right, now the trick is to build off of these two sides with some recycled materials to see how fancy can your kinetic art piece get. All right, well for me I've got some of these can tabs here and I've threaded them with paper clips, as you can see. Very easy to do. I'm gonna just gonna hang it on one end. Now I know, I'm gonna put a clip there so it stays. I know this, is, this end is gonna be way heavier than this one, so I'm not even gonna bother to put it on there yet. Okay, now I need to add to my other end here. I've broken one of my bamboo skewers in half. You might need a parent to help you do that. So now you got a splintery end. Uh, but I'm going to thread on 
in the same way through the corrugated holes a couple smaller pieces and I'm going to see if I can get it to go into this green piece here. balanced and what do I have to do to make it balanced? It looks like the can tabs are still heavier than the cardboard over here. All right. So what if, and these are easy to take off and just kind of work with this, what if I added a pipe cleaner? help at all? Let's see if that would help. Okay, it did help. So you have fun with your kinetic sculpture and balancing different recycled materials. I also decorated my base with caps and bottle caps. And this is what it looks like, painted black and red. And I don't know, I felt like the caps would weigh down the base a little better. And you have fun with your kinetic art. Join us next time for Covered Crafts and Experiments brought to you by the Pikes Peak Library District.